Hello and welcome to another Group Iron Man video. I'm going to start this one off by trying the new method of crafting golden tiaras. This was released with the Guardian of the Rift minigame and now you can actually use gold bars and a tiara mold to make golden tiaras and that gives crafting experience. Let's press yes. Let's make the golden tiaras and every single one gives 35 crafting experience. This is 10 more than golden bracelets and it doesn't require any gems. And I'm going to see how much experience this is an hour because I have 18,000 gold bars that I got from my smithing grind through the blast furnace. So it's been half an hour now of doing this as actively as I possibly could and my experience an hour is 52.5 to 53k an hour. I think that's roughly the peak you're going to reach. Maybe there is another place like in Priftenas where you have a bit closer to the furnace. Not by much, but you might be able to get like 55-56k an hour at the absolute maximum. Which is not bad for gold bars, because there's nothing really else to do with these gold bars. Doing the bracelets is at peak XP an hour, 40k an hour, so this is just a better version of doing that. But comparing that to glass blowing at 49 crafting, you can make the lantern lenses, which is 96,000 experience an hour. But that also means you have to get the molten glass and for Iron Man that can be kind of an annoying thing and it's also experience loss of course making the molten glass compared to just having the gold bars from the blast furnace which are going to level the uh, smithing levels anyways on an Iron Man so you can just use these anyways for free crafting experience and I think that's go going to be how it is. People are just going to uh, do the smithing grind have a bunch of gold bars and do this for free crafting experience, not necessarily all the way to 99, but for some a bit faster crafting experience than gold bracelets. That is 79 crafting, and I'm going to be happy with that, 1885 total, 15 more to go until that nice 1900 total, but all I wanted to do really was try this method out, because I had not tried it since it was released, and yeah, as I said, it's pretty good for the gold bars, you should definitely do it that way. The only downside is that these tiaras, are actually only 60 high alk each and the gold bracelets I do believe is 300 or 330 so you're going to lose out on alk value but if you value the crafting experience more then do this. But now it's time to finish the grind I started and died to a snail in my last video which is the lumberjack outfit for afk woodcutting so let's get it done. So the strategy I'm going to be using is basically easy paths and then route 1 and uh, now I didn't even get to fight anything but that's just how it is sometimes and I get a reward token then I just escort again if we do that and I will just teleport out if I do not get the lumberjack event. Anything other than the lumberjack event I am teleporting out and just resetting. There are some events that are really easy though, so I might as well just do them and get the reward token. I'm going to be using all of these reward tokens on XP tomes by the way. The uh, XP tomes are going to give like 1.1k to 1.6k experience in various different skills. It's random which one it picks, but it can pick Slayer, which is not bad. 1.6k Slayer from one turn in is pretty good. This might be me being newbie, but uh, why do these look different? They're both uh, easy reward tokens, but they just look different for some reason. I have no idea. Okay, giant snails, I'm not doing that, that is my biggest enemy. I teleport to my house, and I have a Kirill teleport right here. And if you go through that, I am already here, and I can just reset it again. That did not take long, that is the first lumberjack event, and that is the top. Now, there are multiple of these undead lumberjacks, as you see, but uh, every event can only give one of the pieces. So even though there are more of these spawning, they cannot drop anything now, so I would have to complete this event and go again but yeah that's one out of four completed now this entire morning i knew i wanted to do this lumberjack grind so i've had a song on my head like the entire morning while making my coffee do you know monty python if you do do you know the lumberjack song like the uh he's a lumberjack and he's okay if you do that song has been on my head the entire morning <laughs> The mystery has been solved, by the way. Uh, these look different because one of them is when you do it from this area, and when you go to Berg the Rot and you go all the way up here again through the trek, you get a different type of token. Not sure why that is. Not sure it doesn't really give anything different. They just decided to make two different items. Second piece, Lumberjack Legs, only two more to go. And as you can see, I killed a lot of zombies to get that. I don't know why I had to kill so many. Getting close now, Lumberjack hat, only one more to go, which is the boots. 
Lucky on first kill. Yes, there we are. Lumberjack boots, very nice. Status is set completed. And four collection log items unlocked as well, which is pretty nice. And the set looks awesome as well. Wearing the entire set gives 2.5% more woodcutting experience. So overall, it is going to be a, quite a good amount of extra experience. But I am 79 woodcutting now. I'm not going to be woodcutting for a massive amount, but let's see what we can get done. After 6 hours of woodcutting soliceps with the new lumberjack outfit, that is 82 woodcutting. And uh, my review of the lumberjack set is... Uh, it's good. It is now time for the combat section of the video, going to be working on some Slayer again. I'm actually very close to 89 Slayer, only 98,000 experience left. And there's actually a bunch of combat skills I'm close to leveling, like 26,000 magic, of course, on Necreals, I will hit that very fast. Also, I think 13k away from 79 prayer, and some various other skills, so a lot of levels probably incoming. And here we go, this is the first level coming in, which is 95 magic. Of course I'm in combat, so I kinda got interrupted on the message, but even broadcasted in the clan, and look at that! A superior at the same time. Mr. Superior, what are you going to give me? I have a good feeling. Oh, Dust Battle Staff actually was a pretty good drop, but I don't know, we probably have a couple of those already? I think we have one at least, so it's not the first one for the team, but uh, hey, it's a drop. Of course I missed it, 97 hit points, but I am not going to be missing a 79 prayer, which is coming up very soon. I actually got another Necreal task, almost back to back. I only skipped one task, which was Kurusks, so that is very nice. Last two experience for 79 prayer, just one more kill and I'll get that, there we go. It doesn't pop up again because I'm getting hit by the Necreals, but yeah, that is 79 prayer, pretty nice. One more to go for that milestone 80. Not really pushing for it right now. If I get the prayers from raids, I have the level for them, all of them. So yeah, it doesn't really matter, it's just high restore from prayer potions, which is definitely not bad. There we go, 89 Slayer, and I was actually thinking about maybe unblocking Hellhounds and trying to get a task... If I get one, I can actually wild pie boost for at least a good amount of Cerberus kills and see if we can get lucky on maybe 100 kills or something like that. So I might try to do that if I get a task. But that did not take long at all, 166 hellhounds and let's have a look at how many wild pies we have to use. Basically all of these are from Eclectic Implings and they boost all the way to 94 Slayer and I saved all of them from the openings for medium clue scrolls because I knew I might do this in the future and now it's going to pay off so that should be a good amount of Cerberus kills, maybe 2 or 3 per pie so maybe we can get like 70 kills done, maybe more than that, I guess we'll see. And the first Cerberus loot is some cold and Infernal Ashes. I might as well just save the Infernal Ashes, I guess. They're pretty good prayer experience if you use the spell on the Archaeos spellbook. And I don't think I can do that many kills a trip anyway, so I should have space for them. Oh, we got the first unique Keymaster teleports, only three of them. That is, they're not very common, it's not like Solandra teleports and you only get three of them. But yeah, collection log item nonetheless. Oh no way, that is the one, Primordial Crystal, 4kc Primordial Crystal, look at that, 26 million worth, oh my god, that is the Primordial Boots unlocked very early into the grind. I mean, now that we have this, I might as well use them on my Dragon Boots and make the Primordial Boots, I have the runecrafting level for it, I think it's 60 or 65, and that is going to be a nice upgrade overall for the Cerberus grind, and that is the second pair for the team. Let's do the infusion, 200 magic and 200 runecrafting. Look at those boots, that is so nice. I think they have a 1 strength bonus over the dragon boots. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it's not a massive increase. But uh, in terms of fashion, it's a 10 out of 10. Nothing more since the primordials, but this is now kill number 50. And I'm going to go for 100 kills. In that time, I have an okay chance of getting another crystal if I'm lucky. It's a 1 in 128 drop rate. No way, dude. Pigation crystal on 63 kill counts. This is insane. How lucky am I? Not even a duplicate. It's not worth a lot, but that is the... Pigation boots if we get ranger boots from medium clue scrolls. That is some nice motivation to actually get really hard into grinding medium clue scrolls. This has been insane. And here we go. We are about to get 100 KC on Cerberus. And the last loot is going to be Rune 2 Age Sword. You can see in the chat 100 KC done. But oh my goodness was this a good round of Cerberus. 
both the Pegation and the Primordial Crystal, and of course I am using the Primordial Boots. It was very nice to use them. I'm not sure if it gave me another max hit, I would have to look into that. But yeah, extremely successful. So on the screen you can see all the loot I got from Cerberus, and you can see I only have 99 Infernal Lashes in the bank. I did accidentally teleport out once without picking them up, so that was kind of unfortunate. But now I want to see, actually I haven't looked up, but I know it should be good how much prayer experience it is to use the uh, Arceus spell Demonic Offering with these Infernal Ashes. Let's see, one single press should consume three of them, and it gives 990 prayer experience. So I can't really do quick math, but I'm going to use all of them and let's see how much it is. So yeah, of course, 330 experience per ash. That means 33,000 experience from nearly 100 of them, which is extremely good. I mean, every time I do Cerberus in the future, I am going to be getting a good amount of extra prayer experience. I guess like a whole level in 400 kills, something like that. It's not too bad, I guess. But I think this is a good point to end the video. In the next one, I'm actually planning on doing a bunch of medium clue scrolls. Maybe make an entire video of grinding out a bunch of medium clue scrolls to try to get the ranger boots. So I don't have to act like I have ranger boots with these angler boots lookalike to use the pigation crystal on. Unfortunately, that did not work. It's not a bug. But um, yeah, we have the primordial boots now, the pigation crystal, and considering how good my range is, which is actually 98, very close to 99, which I thought I could get in this video, but we ended up doing Cerberus mostly instead. But now that I have the pigation crystal, if I do get the ranger boots, my range setup is going to be absolutely insane. The only weak point of my setup has been the armadillo dehyde boots, which is decent, but pigations would be absolutely crazy, and I would almost have like maxed range setup for the crystal bow, which is really good, or not the crystal bow, the bow for Adenon. But um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're looking forward to the medium clue bonanza in the next video, remember to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and until next time guys, take care.